In this quick lesson, I'm going to show you how to use the Size Tools tab from the Size, Scale and Rotation dropdown here in the Design Center. I have this piece of clip art here, which is set to the 0, 0 position on this page. As you can see here, X and Y are both set to 0. I can adjust its position by setting the measurement here. As you can see, it positions it from the left and from the top, moving it away from this top left corner. If I go into the other direction, these numbers eventually become negatives. I can also type in an exact measurement if I want to, like so, or if I position it manually, it will show me its left and top position. I can also adjust the width and the height by setting these measurements like so. You'll notice that they're resizing proportionally, so if I uncheck proportional and then adjust these measurements, you can see that the width will resize independently of the height and the height independently of the width. Now if I check proportional back on and rescale it to say 50%, you can see that it stays proportional and rescales to 50%. If I turn that off and change that to say 200%, you can see it stretches to the right hand side. So I can use proportion and scale to change the shape of a piece of clip art using the tools I've shown you here. I'll come back and show you rubber mode in a second, but before I do that, I'd like to show you how these angle tools work. If I set this angle here, you'll see that the angle resets itself back to zero, but the pure angle actually remembers the angle that I had set. At the moment, it's 15 degrees. If I click clear rotations, it sets that back to zero again. I can also set the pure angle independently of the normal angle. So that's how that works. Now I'll show you how skew works. Skew is a one-to-one, -one, so that's 100% and that's 200%. So that's how the pure skew works. I can also mirror the object like so. And I can also rotate it to the right 90 degrees at a time. So that's how those tools work. Now I'll explain how rubber mode works. You can see I've got this rounded rectangle and that each corner has a 20 millimeter radius. Now, as I stretch this rectangle out, you'll notice that the radius will remain 20 millimeters. It's very useful to be able to resize and have the radius you've set stay the same. But if I change this to rubber mode, the shape will become flexible and it will resize and stretch as if it were actually a piece of rubber. So that's what rubber mode does. It basically makes the piece stretch out as it would if it was a piece of rubber. I just want to quickly show you this tool here. If I turn this on, you'll see that the object will actually rescale, so now it's about 17 millimeters. So the corner radius will actually rescale using that tool. And if I drag that out, you'll see that that's now about 19 millimeters. So that's how the size tools in a rubber mode work, as I've explained today. That's the end of this lesson. Thank you.